Good morning, everyone. Today is Saturday of week 20. I'm out here. It's very lovely, beautiful, hot, miserable weather. Um, but I'm going to try to find a king snake today in a new county for me. You know, one of the counties that I spend a lot of time looking for them in and never find them. But if I have any luck with anything, you guys will know. It's not a king snake and it pisses me off. <laughs> well, the water is stupid high, so it looks like I won't be doing much turtle hunting once it gets too hot for king snakes. So let's hope I have some luck with that. This is the perfect time of day to find king snakes out hunting this time of year. When the sun hasn't quite started hitting the ground yet. And it's still cool. Especially on days like today where you can tell it's going to get quite warm as the day progresses. So, hopefully we'll see something here soon. There's my first snake of the day. <laughs> He's in here hunting tadpoles. Little Midland water snake. Now he's trying to hide. God, this glare is terrible. Goodness. Let's see if I can coax him out of there. There he comes. Ow. Oh. Good looking little water snake. Ow. <laughs> I'm gonna leave him to tadpole hunting. I might actually see if I can get some footage of him hunting if he'll uh, stop trying to hide from me. Which it doesn't look like he's going to do. Jesus Christ, look at this box turtle. Holy crap. I'm gonna try to get some still shots and I'll get a little closer. This thing is unreal looking. I know the the colors aren't really going to come through in video as well as they do in person. That's just insane. I've seen a lot of really pretty, really cool looking box turtles, but this yellow on this thing is insane. Beautiful red eyes. Holy crap. Such a nice looking turtle. I'm going to wait a little bit longer and see if this guy will come a little further out of his shell, and if not, I'm going to leave him alone. Wow. This is a different turtle, in case you can't tell. That's the, possibly the weirdest way I found a box turtle. I lifted this old Christmas tree in the woods and it literally fell out of the Christmas tree. Holy crap, this thing's nice. I guess this area just has super good looking box turtles. Look at this thing's neon legs. Freaking crazy looking. Here's one more look at this guy and I'm gonna put him back in his Christmas tree. <laughs> All right, buddy. Go on. I'll figure it out. Oh, thank God, another Christmas tree to flip. Oh, I was almost expecting a king snake to fall out of that one. Why is that not a king snake? <laughs> oh well, I'll take it. Nice looking rat snake here in C2. Freaking lighting is weird. I'm gonna get a quick photo and then I'll get better video. Alright guys, here's another look at this rat snake. <laughs> I got a couple of quick in C2 photos. I'm gonna leave him on his way. Alright guys, well I have been at it for a while now. Saw a couple of pretty interesting things, nothing insane. Um, I'll probably stay out a little bit longer, but I'm getting kind of hungry, and I do have some, you know, normal human things to take care of today. But today is my last day. I have to work. Um, basically, Ooh, the fence lizard, pretty cool. Today's the last day. I have to work for a while. Um, there'll be a whole lot of herping this coming week, but the weather is going to be insane. It's supposed to be almost 100 degrees almost every day this week. 
So it should definitely make for some interesting herping. Definitely going to be a lot of nocturnal stuff going on. So I will check back if I see anything else today. Hey, there's a big water snake right here. I'm going to see if I can grab her real quick. You might can see her through the grass right there. I have to put that in my bag. There she goes. Off into the pond. Well, it's not a, an actual snake, but check this out. It's a pretty decent sized shed, but it has a stripe down the back. The only, it's keeled scales, which means there's only so many snakes it could be. And the only keeled scaled snake here with a stripe down its back is garter snakes. That's a big garter snake. <laughs> It'd be really cool to find this thing. I'm back up here where that box turtle was. I came up here hoping to see him again, hopefully out of his shell more, but found this instead. Look at that stripe, that's crazy. Well, I'm here at work and uh, stepped outside to get something from my car. There's a little rat snake in the parking lot. Check this guy out. Get a couple pictures of this little rat snake and let him go away from this giant industrial area so he doesn't get run over. Good morning, everybody. Today is Sunday, the very last day of week 20. And uh, today I have to go pick up my buddy Graham at the airport. He's flying in from Colorado to hurt for a few days. So uh, the next couple days should be pretty interesting. We're going to look for some kind of different stuff that I don't usually look for because it's stuff he wants to see. So it's going to shake things up a little bit. But it should be pretty good herping because I am off work for the next three days and I have all the time in the world to herp. So I will check in with you guys once I've got Graham and we are headed to where we're going. <laughs> Alright guys, we're up here in the mountains. I got Graham from the airport. What are we looking for today, Graham? We are looking for the timber of all timbers. He wants to see a black face timber. That's his number one target in Georgia. So we're going to try. All right, here's a nice looking seal salamander. We stopped at this creek because Graham wants to see a uh, red salamander. But a couple of seal salamanders so far. All right, guys, we just got our first find of the day. Copperhead's nice and well tucked back and hard to see. But you can kind of see her face sticking out right there. We're going to get a couple shots of this girl and leave her alone. All right, guys, we got what we we're looking for. It's not not the darkest timber, but it's still just a beautiful looking lighter phase timber rattlesnake up here. Absolutely beautiful, gentle snake. So we're gonna photograph this guy and uh, keep looking, see if we can find some more. Absolutely stunning snake, good looking timber rattlesnake. snake that's my shot right there <laughs> all right guys we just flipped a massive ring neck snake under this rock you can see my foot right there this thing is huge gonna get a couple pictures of it real quick and let it go here's a, uh, a reference shot of just how big this ring neck is in case you couldn't tell when I was under the rock it's kind of ridiculous all right guys this is timber rattlesnake number three for the day in Sisu. I'm gonna... <laughs> so good. Dude, that's incredible. We're gonna get some in situ shots on our cameras and then we'll get a better look at him. Oh All right, guys. Well, this brush pile girl right here is getting a little ornery with us. So we are gonna leave her right here where we found her and see if we can find any more. Thank you for being beautiful. Guys, we are headed out. We're gonna go try to find some roads to cruise and hopefully find a pygmy rattlesnake. We will see. I will check back in if we have any luck. All right, Graham, what do we have here? This is the Appalachian whale. It's a black-bellied salamander and a big one at that. Holy <laughs> crap. <laughs> Here's another look at that black-bellied salamander. This thing's huge. All right, guys, we just got another one of uh, Graham's big targets. This guy right here is a spring salamander. These guys eat a large part of their diet. It's comprised of other salamanders, which is pretty cool. He's trying to climb off my hand, so 
We're gonna get a couple quick pictures of this guy and let him go. Two. All right, guys, we were running back to the car to go road cruising, oh, and I looked dude. down. And there's a copperhead basking right here along the side of the trail. We're gonna get some quick pictures of him and keep moving. All right, guys, we took a couple pictures of this copperhead right here, and we are going to leave him in C2 and keep going to back towards the car and see if we can get to a spot to road cruise for a little bit before it gets dark. All right, guys, we are out here road cruising, so I'll check in if we see anything. Still no snakes. It's officially getting dark. Temperature is about 73 degrees, and we are getting goose egged so far, so hopefully that'll turn around once the sun's completely gone. Hey, a live snake. Good looking little rat snake. This guy is really dark for his size. First live snake we've cruised tonight. We found a dead rat snake and a dead water snake, but it's nice to finally see a live one. We're gonna get some pictures of this guy and get him out of the road. Yeah, he's guy beautiful. Too. All right, guys, we got our second live snake of the night, a really nice looking copperhead right here. We're gonna get this guy out of the road safely and keep on moving, see what else we can find. So we just pulled over to let a car pass and I looked up and there is a brown snake crossing the road right here in front of our car. Oh, dude, it's oh he's, he's doing a periscope. Nice. We're going to let this guy go and keep looking. I'm too busy admiring the hash brown. <laughs> 